So this is a new and interesting one for me. Um, recently I had to uh, mill something uh, with a fly cutter quite low. Uh, I recently acquired this vise and up until now I hadn't been using that. I was fixing things to the table and I also got this very low profile um, little chuck for the, uh, the mill table. So in order to get the fly cutter low enough when it's being held in a collet, uh, I get some interference over here on my table. The uh, control box uh, will hit that uh, because they're coming down a lot lower than what I would normally uh, do. And also the bottom of the, uh, the housing here is uh, running really close. So I thought, of course, the answer is to uh, put the fly cutter in an end mill holder. Uh, however, there's a little problem with that uh, that I'm going to show you how I resolved it. Let's go over to the bench. So the end mill holder will help drop the uh, fly cutter down probably uh, two and a half, three inches uh, from where it would be held in a collet uh, normally in the mill. Uh, the issue, of course, is that the uh, the set screw for the uh, end mill uh, won't fit in the slot on the flat that's been machined uh, in the fly cutter set that I have. So it's a very inexpensive uh, set of fly cutters. Um, so I think the solution is to put this in the mill and uh, extend the flat portion and we'll do it down lower than uh, uh, where it is right now rather than higher. Um, one might think that this uh, material is super hard and that uh, it'd be hard to uh, mill. However, uh, I found that uh, it mills great. Uh, I've already completed uh, this one and I'm going to show you basically how I did that, how I set it up. Okay, here we go. Um, put a parallel in here, a uh, shot made parallel. Get this in there and get it uh, just snugged up. And I'm going to use ruler. I know I could dial indicate this, but uh, it's, it's a quick job. That looks pretty darn good right there. So I'm going to snug that in place. Let's bring it in closer. I'm going to drop one tooth of the uh, milling cutter onto the, uh, the surface. Lock that in place. Just bring it down. I'm going to lock it right there. We'll zero out the uh, height adjustment, the height indicator. For now, I'm just going to eyeball it. I think we need probably about uh, five millimeters or six, but a quarter inch, just to give it some margin of uh, adjustment.
I think that's going to be fine. Okay, so let's see how we did. There. I could feel that gauge. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope the video was somewhat helpful. See you in the next one.